What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Desert Tactical. You know me, this is D. If this is your first time here, welcome and please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really helps the channel out. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the Trigicon MRO. I've had this optic for a little under a year. I want to share my experiences and thoughts on it with you. First off, the MRO comes in a very nice hard shell case. All paperwork is found inside. I do want to point out that I received a defective MRO which I had to get replaced. There was a fiber or possibly a scratch on the objective lens inside the tube. I contacted Trigicon and they said it would be an eight week turnaround. I then contacted the retailer I got it from and very hassle free, I had a replacement within two weeks. Quickly going over the specs, the Trigicon MRO is made of 70-75 T6 aluminum. It's waterproof up to 100 feet. The twist on knob and elevation adjustments are on top and the windage is on the right. There are no turret caps but the knobs are recessed. It comes in at half inch MOA click value with a two MOA dot. Powered by a single CR2032 battery, it has eight settings, two of them being night vision, which unfortunately I have no way to test because I have no night vision equipment. The red dot has an impressive five year battery life on setting number three. The MRO has two conveniently placed off positions, one before the two night vision settings and the other between the second and third setting. As far as brightness levels, and at least to me, day settings one, two, and three are not visible in daylight. Settings 1 and 2 are very dim, and setting 1 is unusable even at night. Settings 4 and 5 work well outside depending on ambient light, and setting 6 for the most part is too bright. In low light conditions, settings 2 and 3 work well, maybe 4 if there is some ambient light. Settings 5 and 6, in my opinion, would be too bright in low light conditions. The glass is pretty clear. However, I have found out that the MRO has a very slight magnification. I can only notice it if I really focus on it, it is ever so slightly there. I really don't pick it up while transitioning target to target and or scanning. It really doesn't bother me at all. It's designed to be used with both eyes open, however, that wide field of view comes in handy. With a 20.4mm ocular lens and a 25mm objective lens, target acquisition is easier, faster, and smoother. To summarize, the Trigicon MRL is very well built and is aesthetically pleasing. It has clear glass, a wide field of view, and has an impressive battery life, but it does have some flaws. I truly wanted to love this optic, but I like it at best. The range of illumination could definitely be better balanced. The slight magnification can be an issue to some, especially those with eyesight issues. I don't regret buying it, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. There are a lot of options out there when it comes to optics. Get one that works for you, go out and train. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you guys later. Peace.